Yes, yes, Massive and Crew back once again with another video, another, another, another Renoise video. And today, um, it goes out to the man like Duke. Big up the man like Duke, mate. Uh, today's video is about, um, is about arranging in Renoise. So he asked me to do a video on the Renoise uh, arrangement. Now, the thing is about the uh, arra arrangement window, right? It can be very tricky if you are new to the whole scene. So... <laughs> new to the whole uh, renoise thing right so i'm going to give you an example and just show you some of the tools because most of the time you're sitting here you you've got you're, you're going to be sitting here and you'll have something like this uh yes excuse me guys uh, it's been a long day at work and all that you know what i mean night time here and uh right so you're gonna you're gonna have something like that there yeah you would have laid down all your tracks etc and uh you would just have it playing and you'd want to know what to do with it right now um, it took me a while to realize that this little panel here is clickable. So you literally click here and that opens up. And as you can see, you've got all your tracks playing here. But you want to make that into a song. And I get that. That's cool. So what you do, guys, is you would first start by obviously copying tracks. You've got a little copy uh you could clone a block here that's a clone of a block yeah so i believe now uh don't quote, quote me on it comment down below if anyone knows any different uh i believe that uh whatever you do to this block it's going to change that block so i believe if you play if you play an instrument in here uh let, let, let's just find something all right say i've got this amen in here right let's just 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 for argument's sake say i put that in there Actually, it did. It didn't, did it? All right, fair enough. No, okay, that doesn't help. All right, let me let me stick to the bases. Let me try not try to get it too clever. So you can basically copy stuff through. And if you wanted to make an arrangement, it's really really simple. Uh, you just literally would click here, or click on the track that you want to, you know, to to get rid of. Yeah, and if you hit the return key on your keyboard, enter key. Yeah, it will mute that part of the track or unmute so you can just set up a little arrangement let's see what we got here on one track let's start by doing one track for a minute and let's literally do this look there we go let's turn on all these tracks and see just chaos and then what we got here all right so let's see let's let's get a range now so suppose we wanted to um Right, let's we've got the strings there, right? Let's suppose we wanted to start with the strings, right? What we would do, it's really simple, is we would mute everything. Just hit the enter, click on it, enter, 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 enter. And obviously up here you've got your tracks, right? So if you're not sure what's what, it's easy to just look at the tracks. You see up here, we see what's playing, yeah? So you would just then copy over, right? And then you, you've got this here. From there, if you click this button here, this will kind of loop this bit only when it gets to it. And then it will go back round to this part. This is just for your own on the fly. You can just do that to many pa patterns as well if it's a segment, yeah? Right, so we've got four of these, one, two, three, four. So up here now, we can do, uh, we can just label it, intro. Right, and then from here, we can highlight that, hold down the shift key, yeah? Click uh, the, the last one, right click, yeah? Repeat, Bosch, right? And then we call this intro two. Then hit that there, circle that lot of there so we want to hear what's going on now. And then maybe I want to bring in a break at this point. So I'll turn that on. Uh, obviously, it's just one break. All right, I've got to find some more stuff to go with. Let's see what I've got here. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? All right, I'll mute that one. Yes, yeah, so I want to get rid of that. Oh, there you go. And 
and then put your vocal in there. I think which one of these is a vocal? Hold on, I've not labelled this up good. Right, so it's strings there. Then another vocal there. And then we repeat that over again. There we go. Organize, repeat. Uh, okay, where are we? Organize, repeat. There we go. Bosch, yeah. And then bring in some more gear. Let's see what we've got. Uh, there you go. Nice little intro. So, you know. Uh, we've got a break that just keeps popping in there while there. I think that's, that's the one there. We don't need that. And then maybe on a half here, let's bring in something else. Now, if I wanted to do something to that break that I just brought in there, yeah? See this little, this little break, this little shuffle break. If I wanted to just do a little, like, a bit so that just this part only in the whole entire song has has that, uh, that uh, like a little drum roll or something like that, right? What I would do now at this stage, right, is I would then, I would then go right click and I would go organize and then make this unique. That means that this, you're telling Renoise, this block here is different from the rest of the track. Don't make any ghost copies. Don't fill in later, earlier on or later on in the song. Because it's got a function, yeah, where you could be editing and you could change this part of the song. And if it's a repeat, of somewhere further on it actually changes the further on part as well so if you don't want this part to be totally exclusive uh to the track you would then uh, you know uh make it unique so then say for example now i just wanted to chuck that in there i'm gonna do it really raggo guys you know what i mean it's gonna be like right Repeat again, right? Loop that over, organize, repeat. And then that, that's a, like a little sec section pattern there anyway. And then from here, turn that on. Or uh, find something to turn on. Right, let's see. Now this might make sense. Right, let's keep that running. Yeah, there, look. And let's see if we've got a bass over. There you go. Right, so I don't really want that vocal going on and on in there. So it gets too repetitive. And so on and so forth. That's how you build your track up. That's how you get the whole arrangement going. I could do a full-on one, uh, you know, in a, in a later video. But this is just something to get you guys going. A short little video. Look, you can repeat the entire segment of a song like that. Look, you can repeat parts of songs to make the song longer. If you want to loop the song around, you just want to loop that segment. So, for example, you could just repeat that bit. Uh, let me just do a quick look at something unique. Say, hello. Right, just to give you an idea, right? Repeat that hello there. Look, repeat. Boss, you go down. Look, hello's there. It starts again there. Yeah, so you get the drift. This is basically how you arrange in, in Renoise. Um, and that's really all there is to it. It's quite straightforward. Uh, Duke, I hope that helped you out, mate. And uh, anyone else who's trying to get their head around the basics of this arrangement. Because it did actually do my head in for a while um, when I first started it. But now I know how to use it and everything it's give me that whole tracker thing all, all over again song mode uh etc etc if you've got any questions guys pop it down below and i will do my best to get back to you if i get 100 likes i'll do another full-on request video for you guys so i hope you enjoyed that today take care god bless peace